Man, this bondage thing is a lot harder than it looks like. How do people even do this? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, 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 wait. It's not what it looks like. Don't judge me! Konnichiwa minasan, genki desu ka? I'm Dave and today we're going to be taking a look at the beautiful, bright and energetic Ohana Matsumae from the anime Hanasaku Iroha. A neglected child, Ohana is strong-willed and often clashes with others. After her mother elopes, Ohana is sent to stay with her estranged grandmother in the countryside on the condition that she works in the inn her grandmother runs. As you guys can see, this is an older Nandroid, Nandroid number 203, that came out in March 2012, and there are some differences between the older Nandroids compared to the newer ones, which I will go into later. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. So here is Ohana Unbox, and she's got a whole lot going on, so let's go ahead and start off with her faceplates. Her first faceplate is a huge bright smile and it is a really beautiful smile. I really like this about Ohana. I just love how she is always bright and cheery. Her second expression is a very stern face and she is ready to get to work because Ohana is a very hard working character. And her third faceplate is a surprise shocked expression which is really cute and really funny too. As for accessories, Ohana's got a lot of stuff that she comes with. So one of the things she comes with is a pair of food trays which is really cool, well detailed, and it looks really nice. You can stack them right on top of each other and you could even put miniaturized food on it. Of course it doesn't come with any miniaturized food so you have to buy that separately but it's okay because it's really cool that there are two of them. She also comes with a broom because she's got to sweep around the inn and clean house. She also comes with this gigantic blue heron which is really weird and really cool and what I like about this bird is that it's pretty expressive and it's very well detailed and well painted too. So that's really cool and it does stand up on its own. And she comes with the weirdest Nandroid accessory to date. I mean, does it get any weirder than a completely bondage pose accessory? I mean, that's so freaking awesome and strange and I just, it doesn't get any weirder than that. And it's so well detailed too. I just... You kind of can't take your eyes off of it. It's so freaky and kinky. And to top it all off, she also comes with a bandana to wrap around her mouth to complete the full-on bondage pose. What the f***? Now before I move on with Ohana's poses, I wanted to talk about the biggest difference between the older Nandroids and the newer ones. The biggest difference is how the faceplates are designed. So the older faceplates have the neck joints built into the head, while the newer faceplates don't. The neck joint can actually stay inside of the body the whole time, and when you're replacing the face, all you're doing is replacing the face. Unfortunately, for the older Nandroids, you have to remove the whole head, and that is pretty much how you exchange faceplates. And I I think the older way is much more of a hassle. It increases your chances of breaking the neck joint because you're constantly having to take it out. And if you know Nandroids, you know the neck joints are kind of a pain. So even though each of these expressions have their own neck joints, it is still kind of a pain having to take it out of the head each time. And it is really nice that the newer Nandroids are built this way. Here is Ohana's first pose and she's got a big bright smile and her trusty broom ready to sweep the in and get it clean. I absolutely love Ohana. She is an awesome character because she is so bright and cheery. And I love the design of her Nandroid. Her kimono is very faithful to how it is designed in the anime and if you don't know this is Ohana's work uniform and I just love how it is a bright solid orange color and it has a little red on the waist which is really cool and something I didn't realize but I do remember from the anime she has these straps on her shoulders that actually wrap around her back and this Nandroid has those straps too which is really cool and that is a really nice detail that I didn't see at first until actually getting to look at her up close. Another thing I love about this Nandroid are the flowers in her hair. It is so pretty and so cute. And if you guys didn't know, the Japanese word for flower is Hana. And of course, our main character is named Ohana. Also, I wanted to note that the arms that she's using to hold the broom is actually the same arms found on the bondage accessory. So if you're wondering where those arms were, they're over there. 
<laughs> now Ohana is a very strong and tough character. She's very independent because her mom was always working so she kind of took care of herself growing up. So Ohana definitely knows how to take care of business so here she is getting ready to set up some trays for dinners for the guests and she just looks so cool and tough and cute all at the same time. I really love that about Ohana's character. She's very admirable in this respect and even though she's bright and cheery all the time it's really nice to see that she has a serious side too. So one thing to note about this pose is that the arms actually have indentations so that you can kind of fit the edges of the trays and they don't really fit that well. It wasn't too hard to get her to hold the trays just like this but it does take a little bit of getting used to so that you can actually just get it to fit right. But once you get the first tray in her arms, it's really easy to just put on the second tray on top of it. And she looks really cool doing it too. For Ohana's next pose, she has a bit of a frightened look on her face and she's spooked because Big Bird over here is getting ready to peck her eyes out. And this is a really cute and funny pose. And I just really love that this accessory is included because this blue heron is so well detailed and really nice to look at. I mean, he even stands on his own. And of course, you can put this Big Bird with other Nendroids too. So so that would be fun as well. Now I'm not really into S&M, or am I, huh? But this pose is definitely the weirdest and the kinkiest pose out of any Nendroid I have ever seen. This is just so yikes, <laughs> but it is a very funny pose. I definitely don't think it's very cute. And if you guys don't know the context, this happens in episode 3 of the anime and it's not what you think. So I definitely recommend you at least check out episode 3 because it's a pretty funny moment in the anime but uh, it's still pretty freaking weird. So some things to know about this pose is that there is a red plastic accessory that you use to bound her hands completely behind her back. So that's separate because you need to have her hands for different poses. So it's pretty nice that it's there so when you look at her hands it's actually tied up too. So one thing to note about the bondage accessory for her face is that this only works for the serious expression because the serious expression has these grooves underneath her ears and that is where you place the bondage accessory so that it fits. Another thing I wanted to note is that my bondage accessory has a little blue discoloration so that just could come from the fact that this is an older Nandroid because on some of the pictures the gag is actually white so mine has a little blue discoloration so it doesn't really look that weird so it's not too much of a bother it actually doesn't look that bad but it is something to note since this is an older Nandroid it could happen to you too. Speaking of the anime, Hanasaku Iroha is a slice of life coming of age tale about Ohana and her life and it is an excellent anime. I absolutely loved watching this anime when it came out a couple of years ago and it is just so beautiful to watch. It was done by Studio PA Works and if you guys know some of their stuff, their animations are very beautiful and their environments are drawn so well. And the story is actually really good too. I much enjoyed watching Ohana grow throughout the series and getting to know more of her life so I highly recommend you watch Hanasaku Iroha. It is a 20-ish episode series and there is also a movie so I highly recommend both and you're not gonna regret it because it is a really great anime and Ohana is a very awesome admirable character. So overall I love this Nendroid. Ohana is cute and fun and weird <laughs> and there is just there's not much about this Nendroid that I don't like. I think it represents her character very well and in Nendroid form she is just so much cute. Computer. This is a very cool Nandroid. I would definitely put it up there as one of the best Nandroids to own. So I think it's definitely worth it to look for her. Since it is an older Nandroid, it may be a little hard, but probably not too hard. So hopefully you will be able to find her for a good price if you're looking for her. All right, so that is going to do it for me here today. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Jane G.